had a solid day. I mean, pit stops were solid. Strategy was solid. Came down towards the uh, the last stop there. And I was a little nervous we were going to be tied on fuel, or I should say Paul was, uh, and I was nervous for him a little bit. And, uh, you know, it worked out. You know, those green flag or uh, green white checkers definitely held us tight. But, uh, you know, then uh, you start to get to those closing laps, and you just know you got to be in the top uh, four or five to have a shot at it. Uh, you know, everybody on the team, Joey Meyer, my spotter, did a great job of keeping us out of trouble and keeping us in that top group, uh, knowing where the runs were and knowing how to fend them off one at a time. Our car uh, was a little bit faster than what we had at Daytona, which I thought was uh, key to being able to run up front. Uh, so, you know, just everything came together. Uh, obviously, I had some good fortune at the end with, uh, with having Kyle lined up behind me, who uh, gave me a great push, helped put us in position, and uh, then we just closed at the end. So, uh, great, great day. You drove just about a perfect race. When, when you leave two drivers <laughs> like that feeling flat-footed and you please your car owner that much, could you just go through each of those elements, what you did to Matt, what you did to Kyle, and what you feel about what Roger had to say? Well, that's good. That means I'm not going to get fired, right? <laughs> <laughs> not this week. Not this week. Uh, that, that's my first thought. Uh, I mean, hell, it's my job to, to be good, you know? I mean... That's what I get paid for. You know, I mean, I don't get paid to suck at this. I mean, um, if I did, I'm not driving for the right guy. You know, this, this guy's won all these races over here. And, uh, you know, we're trying real hard to get that first cup championship. And we're doing the, the right things. Um, you know, yeah, I felt really good about the move. We were able to pull on Matt. I was a little surprised that him and the 16 didn't gang up uh, a little full force, uh, a little more full force than what they did. Um, and, and only he knows the answer to that, so I'm not going to speculate on what that was. But, uh, you know, then Kyle, I just, uh, you know, I, I just knew the move I wanted to make and, and made it into three, and it, it uh, you know, disconnected us. And that was uh, that was the key right there. Once we got that air bubble in between the two cars, uh, you know, it was, it was going to take two or three laps for him to pop that. And we only had to go half a lap or, or not even quite that. So, uh, you know, you just you got to have a plan and you got to have the moves ready. And uh, we were fortunate to have a car and a team that, uh, put me in position to execute my job, but those other two things come first. You know, you got to have a car, and you got to have a team to get in those positions. And then, as a driver, you got to close the deal. Well, I, was, I felt pretty good having Kyle behind me. I knew he was a good pusher. Once I saw the 16 and 17 separate, I knew this was our race. It was just a matter of if there was another tandem behind us, which I haven't seen a replay to know if there was or not. But uh, uh, it, it all uh, it all worked out from there. So, I mean, it, it, Talladega, you don't take anything for granted. I mean, not a thing, because you don't know what's going to happen. And uh, I, I didn't take for granted that we had this race won, no. There's a lot of races, and uh, you got to be good at all of them to be a champion. I think I have room to improve, uh, certainly at other places. Uh, and that's what will make uh, this team a champion when we can improve uh, uh, at all the other places as well. So, you know, we got we got room to go, uh, and I'm committed to doing it. And I know these guys uh, on my left and right are committed to, to being uh, the best we can be. And if we can do that, then yes, we can be a champion. What is your perspective as a driver on so much emphasis being placed on Rex here at Talladega? What's my position on it? I mean, I, heck, I don't know. I mean, I, I've said uh, all along that as a race car driver, you walk a fine line between uh, being a daredevil and a chess player. And, uh, you, you know, when you walk that line, there, you look at some of the racetracks we go to, and I would say we're probably <laughs> – not necessarily on the line and we're more chess players and I'm a big believer in balance and when we come here we're probably more daredevils and uh, you look at it as a whole uh, you hope that you, uh, you you split the middle of the two and that's what racing is and uh, you know I, I, I've said this before I look at chess matches and they're not on TV and a lot, a lot of people watch them and they sure as hell don't get a hundred thousand people to come to the track or to the match so uh, you know we we gotta we gotta bounce those things, and uh, you know this package might be a little bit more to the daredevil side, but I'm all right with that because we go other places where I say it's probably a little more to the chess player side. So you know that's that's balance, and um, I'll live with that, and I'll be happy.